Right. Oh, fool me. Bloody phone. <laughs> Take two. Now Sue, my wife, she's very partial to cider. And she, she doesn't drink a lot, but when she does drink it, she does like a drop of uh, a cider. So with that in mind, this is my first cider brew. Now I've got no apples because they're not grown on my tree yet. I have got um, an apple tree out there and uh, I wouldn't mind trying it, but I ain't got a bloody crusher or whatever it calls, a cider press, I ain't got one of them. So what I have got is one of these lot. One of them. I've got one of them. I've got it from uh, Wilkinson in Inkley where I live. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give this a whirl. So I've been watching um, Craig Tube and uh, he's, he's done quite a lot on these different uh, brew kits. Uh, so yeah, I, I understand the most important thing is to, to make sure everything's nice and clean. So I'm going to have a look at the, the label, see what it says etc. And then I'm going to have a go at a bloody uh, kit brew of uh, cider. So uh, let's carry on. Right, it's took me bloody hours and hours to read through the instructions. So I thought what I'd do is take ca uh, uh, get, 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 take careful consideration in the instructions. So what I've decided to do is do it myself basically. So <laughs> here goes. For a start I've uh, had a couple of uh, ideas about sterilisation from the sterilisation in the old fat and uh, I'm going for this look because I'm a bit of a baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. So I'm going to whack these in a bowl, a clean bowl, and then I'm going to do a bit of sterilisation. Everything's being sterilised. I don't think uh, you need to swill it out afterwards, but I've got all my bits and bobs in there. So that's cool. I've also got my cider, that's boiling water I've put in there to uh, loosen it off a bit. So what it says now is put six pints of water open the can and pour the contents into the fermenter and add the boiling water. So I've got to undo that and then add six pints of boiling water. I shall do that next. Right then, I'll pour two pints in there. The bloody kettle leaks, that's the trouble with this. There's the two pints. There you go, two pints in there. And whack it in there. Have a twizzle. Oh no, next time's about two pints. Shit, hot. And I'll pour that in there. Waste not, want not. So that's two. That's all I've got here. I'll just go up to the pint, I think, on that. So that's three pints. Just get the kettle on again. Piece of piss this is. Just boil that up and whilst that's boiling I'll get me uh, sugar organised. And it wants one and a half kilos. Thank you. 
I reckon it's because it's hot in here, you know, it's the temperature, it's hotter in here, you think. Mm. I wouldn't let it cool down a bit. In fact, I might add a bit more water, let's add a bit more water. Well, here I am in the garage. I've got my yeast. I've cut it with the sterilised scissors, and I'm just going to whack it into the uh, the cider. I'm not going to stir it. I'm just going to let it go on the top. All right. There she is. Put the lid on. Make sure I have a good seal. Well, I can definitely see what the attraction is with these um, kits because that were a piece of paste. It took minutes. So let's see what the uh, results are. So it says three to six days. I think I'll give it a full six days and, uh, and put it in. Oh, bottle it, I think, because so large bottles. So that's it. Thanks for watching the old fart doing a, a cheap and cheap. Well, it's not cheap. Quite expensive, really, but a cheap site. No, it's not cheap. Why do we keep saying that? Any road up, uh, I'll let you get off and uh, I'm going to have a pint now, so bye.